Hello, and welcome back to our ProMine Tip of the Month. In this session, we will create a report of the overbreak between two drifts with the command overbreak, which is found in our 3D drift module. Here in our drawing, we have our drift in yellow, as well as our room and pillar in black and blue. Our drift was created with the data from the survey, and it includes our walls, our backs, and our floors. Since our report needs two drifts in the same place, we'll need to create another drift with a center line, which in theory represents the planned drift that was designed before the actual drift was started, which is our drift in yellow. But for demonstrated purposes, it will be really illustrative. So now to create our center line, we just zoom in a little bit and we go to the engineering category and select the center line command. It'll now ask us for a starting point and we'll click on here. And it'll ask us in which, which direction we want to go, either the green or the red. This time we'll choose other. And for name, we'll use plan drift. And for our starting slope, we'll use a slope of eight degrees. We just click on okay. And we can continue drawing our center line. We'll click over here. And we will go over here. Now we just click on escape. And there we have our center line. So now to create our drift, we'll click on construct 3D model and select our center line. Press enter. And here we can select the shape of our drift. We'll choose the art and click on OK. Now that we have our planned drift, we can compare it to our actual drift. But before we do that, we'll need to join the meshes of the actual drift with the union command that's in modeling. So we go back to modeling and select our meshes. And this will be enough to have a good comparison of the two drifts. So we just click on Union. And Promine united all of those meshes into one solid. So now we can click on the overbreak command. And first we'll click on the planned drift. And second we'll click on the actual drift. And quickly we get the report of the overbreak. We can see the volume for the first drift as well as for the second drift see its difference and its overbreak percentage. And over here on the right, we have a better view of our drifts and we can see that they're almost identical or at least really similar and have a good comparison of what the actual drift is compared to the planned drift. This is just a small example that we took from this part of the drift, but it can actually be done throughout the whole drift and get a good idea of what was actually mined in comparison to what was planned. We hope you found this tip useful and can use it in your planning. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section so we can answer you. Thank you for watching.